If you're watching this video, then you are most likely entangled with someone on the cluster B spectrum. All right, what we're talking about here are emotionally immature people. They're also immature at the level of their mind, and they're also immature at the level of their will. And this is what clinicians call a personality disorder. So you're talking about people that have severe psychological problems, or this is what you hear me refer to as people being lost souls or dark souls. All right. So it is important to understand that we are spiritual beings having a physical experience. We are not our bodies. We operate a body. The body is a tool for our spirit. We are spiritual beings using our minds as a tool, our emotions as a tool, and our will as a tool to operate the physical body. And that is how we manifest. For example, I created the Nart Dojo channel. I, spirit, used my mind as a tool to come up with an idea on how I can share this information about narcissistic abuse and healing and so on. And I used my mind to make a decision and then physically that happened in the physical reality because we create from the not physical to the physical because we are predominantly non-physical beings. And you know that we are not our body's people because if you go to a funeral, well, body will be in the casket, but the life force that was operating the body has moved on to another dimension because energy is neither created nor destroyed. And that is what you know as the law of conservation in physics. All right. We are spiritual beings having a physical experience. And that essentially is spirituality. Spirituality is knowing that your spirit governing a body, that you have tools. Mind is a tool. The will is a tool and our emotions are tools. So if you're watching this video again, you most likely were entangled with a cluster B, you know, someone with mental issues, issues regulating their emotions and also issues controlling themselves because they're oftentimes very impulsive and or compulsive individuals. So oftentimes on the channel, you hear me state that pathological narcissists are based in their shame and they're unable to move past their pride. This is what we call the third dimension. If we're looking at the Hawkins scale by Dr. David R. Hawkins, which essentially is a map of consciousness because we are consciousness. Spirit is consciousness. We are source. We are life. We are life force governing a physical body. So we are here as spiritual beings to ascend, but pathological narcissists are stuck in a low vibrational state. They're stuck in the 3D. Now people, every day they wake up in the 1D, but they get to the 3D. They get to that dysfunctional pride of theirs, that dysfunctional ego, that maladaptive ego. And well, pride comes before the fall. Because if you don't let go of a lower level emotion, you cannot get to a higher level. And pathological narcissists believe that that pride is their confidence, but it's not confidence, it's grandiosity. And grandiosity is not confidence. Grandiosity is false confidence. So what they have is false pride. And pride comes before the fall, they fall right back down to shame to go through another shame pride cycle. And understand people, and we're talking about shame here, shame is a very low vibrational emotion. And pathological narcissists don't have healthy shame because, well, we're talking about a pathology. What is a pathology? A pathology is the study of diseases. It is the study of disorders, right? If I say that someone's name is Jack and Jack is a pathological gambler, Jack does not gamble from time to time. Jack is a gambling addict, right? That is what that term there, pathological, means. So know that nothing that we're talking about here is functional. We're talking about dysfunction. We're talking about disordered. We're talking about someone that is not at ease. So we're talking about a dis-ease. All right? So it's not healthy shame. It is pathological shame. It is pathologically low self-esteem. You'll hear me say on the channel that that self-esteem is so low that they'd probably have to look up to see it. It's little to non-existent. All right? So know that pathological shame is pathological self-loathing. All right, so they're based in shame and they're unable to move past that pride. So what does shame tell the self to do? Shame says, I am unworthy. I am not good enough. And when they don't feel good enough, what they do is they cover that with that pride, you see. 
The pride is that defensive mechanism. The ego comes in as a defensive mechanism, but then the ego also makes it so that they cannot grow because we are not our egos. We are spiritual beings having a physical experience. Now, the ego, people, is a mind-made construct. It is made up. It is a thought. It is a thought that manifested itself into a belief system because they were thinking that thought over and over and over again. They were ruminating on that thought. So that thought went from just a thought to a belief system and from that belief system to an egoic construct. Pathological narcissists believe that they are their ego. If someone believes that they are their ego, they believe that they are their mind. And if someone believes that they are their minds, well, they are losing their minds. And this is why you'll find this mental illness in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual for Mental Disorders. We are not our egos. We are spiritual beings having a physical experience. So what we're talking about here, people, is a severe type of dissociation. All right. The captain checked out and they didn't check back in. So flesh is walking around on this planet, but the driver is in the back seat. So that means, people, that that ship is going down like the Titanic. And I can almost bet if you were entangled with a pathological narcissist, well, that relationship crashed, didn't it? It went down over time. This is why oftentimes you hear me say that pathological narcissists age like milk. They don't age like wine. They don't get better with time. They are regressing. And the more they connect to their ego, the more they abandon their spirit when we are here to spiritually ascend. We are here to grow. We are here to elevate. We are here to let go of baggage and ascend. But people, pathological narcissists, have approximately 10,000 Samsonite spinners and 10,000 American touristers that they are carrying around. And because they have too much baggage, well, they cannot ascend. Too much emotional baggage. Too much mental baggage. Too much trauma, abandonment right, abuse, neglect, etc., from their childhood years that they have not dealt with, right, because what they do is they run from their shame, so they sweep those things under the rug, but eventually, again, they get to pride, pride comes before the fall, they fall right back down to shame to go through another shame, pride cycle, and that is the narcissistic abuse cycle of idealization, devalue, discard, and hoover, and again, and again, and again, and again, because you are dealing with a reprobate mind you are dealing with someone that is losing their mind this is why they don't do things that make sense this is why they self-sabotage because they have been sabotaging the self since their childhood years so people know that you cannot have a healthy mutually beneficial relationship with someone that is regressing what you are looking for people is someone that is aging like wine and those people you will find in the fourth dimension or higher so if you're Neo, your friend needs to be on Morpheus's level, okay? If you're looking for an intimate partner, they must be on Trinity's level. You cannot be friends with Cypher and Agent Smith. They are low vibrational beings. People, they are grumpy old trolls that live under the bridge. And if you invite the grumpy old troll in your house, he's going to tear it up because he doesn't live there. He doesn't belong there. People, I truly hope that you get this message. You cannot have a healthy relationship with someone that is regressing, all right? They get worse with time when you're looking for people that get better with time. All right, good people, that is the quick message for today's video. Ensure that you're liking these videos. Ensure that you are subscribed to the NARC Dojo channel for more empowering content. If you have any questions or feedback, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section below. Chica's a name. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.